Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would do a little um, update and potting video today. This video is well overdue. Um, I got these palms back in um, sort of mid to late November and they've been needed potting up since then. So I thought I'd do it today. Um, but sod's law, as soon as I've come out and made a little work shift station, it started raining. So, well, that's just English weather for you. Um, a lot of these, um, the roots are starting to come out the bottom. So I picked these up from uh, Home Base the other day, if you watch my other videos. And I've got some John Inns number three and some Jack's Magic. Um, I, have a, I actually haven't got a, another big pot like this. Uh, cue the dog. Um, but I have got a bucket, so I'm going to improvise today because everyone loves a bit of improvisation. Um, so I'm going to mix probably um, about half and half, probably a little bit more John Innings because it's more sandy, it's more free draining. Um, and I'm going to attempt to show you the mixing process. So I'm going to have to make a little makeshift tripod. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. even got a trowel today so I'm improvising with my hands so right so just over half with the John in So I've been mixing for about five minutes. Um, you want to make sure it's really nice and mixed up. And you don't want to be able to see the difference in the two composts. And I'd definitely say that that looks okay. So now that it's all mixed up, get your pots ready. And I'm going to start off with my favorite palm. And I have been practicing how to say this, but a contra phoenix coming hamiana. I got it right that time. Didn't embarrass myself. So, a nice, generous helping at the bottom. Give it a nice little squeeze. Push through any roots that are coming through. Okay, and then just start to backfill. Palms will appreciate this. They've been stuck in those tiny little pots for November, December, January, about three, well, about three months now. So don't overfill it. Just to where the soil was before. I feel like I'm, um, Delia, <laughs> who's the cook, Delia Smith? I'm definitely not making this look sexy though. Push down, get all the air bubbles out. A little bit more. And there we go. First one to R. Note to self, make sure the plant is central when you're planting it. That's going to do my head in, but I'll just forget about it. So, as you can see, I'm nearly run out, so I need to make up a new batch. So now for the livid stoners. Um, and my littler palms. These are in tiny little pots and I should really upsize them to a pot like the Living Stoner. Um, 
but I might just risk it and put them in these. Um, that might be a bad idea, it might be a good idea, but like I said, I am learning every day. I'm no expert, so it is a bit hit and miss. I've actually had a change of thought with my little palms. Um, I've just thought it is still winter and I live in a flat and I'm not actually sure where I'm going to keep about 12 of these in my house. So I'm going to pop them up into these older ones. Older ones, what am I talking about? Bigger, uh, slightly bigger pots. Um, and then it minimizes the risk of over watering popping too big um and it just saves a little bit of space um when you live in a little flat space is key so i'm just going to fill these up to about halfway and they'll still appreciate a pot up they're not going to mind that it's only a small pot so Gentle with these because they're very, very tiny. Oh, little pat. Wow, okay, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. He really didn't have a very big root system. But nonetheless, let's pot him up. should settle in quite nicely. I don't want to overfill him. I want his roots to be nice and firm in there. Make sure he doesn't wobble over. And I hope you can hear me because the wind is starting to pick up and I know on my previous video the wind was a major problem. <laughs> right, that's you done. Um, on the little dipsis. Oh, well, I know he's got a bigger root system, but it's just trying to get these roots out of the bottom, which is going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, we do it into here. I don't want to pull him too much. I want him to snap. This is like operation. Get dipsis out of pot. Feel like a surgeon. There we go. Just gently feed the roots back through. Okay. Your root system isn't as good as I wanted it either, but hey ho. Like I said, we live in there. Backfill you. In there. Chuck that in there. Get a bit soil. Level him out a bit. Perfect. While I'm potting up, these are getting a nice bit of natural rainwater. Um, yeah, these will be fine with that. I don't want these to stay on it for too long. My little ones are up there. Um, and my very, very sorry looking Vitia spiralis. Still not looking very good, but it has stopped browning. Um, now I've stopped giving it um, tap water.
That's my two queen palms. Um, this one's definitely the faster grower of the two. Let's push out that entire leaf since I've got it. We'll start on a second. This one has only pushed out this little bit, but like I said, we are in winter and they're in the house, so I don't think that's that bad. Why is it that whenever you want to start talking, someone starts making a hell of a lot of noise? Um, hopefully you can hear me all right over this. I actually want to get some advice off for my uh, Procario Felix Fenestralis. Um, it is not looking good at all. Um, it, it's been the last sort of week. So all the um, fronds have started to shrivel up. They've gone white, um, gray. Um, I just don't know what's wrong with this palm. I haven't changed anything um, except I gave it a light mist out of a water bottle spray um, the other day because it was very dry in the house. I had the um, heating up full blast. So I don't know if it's like a fungal thing or um, it didn't like the humidity or it dried out. Um, so if anyone has ever seen this on a palm before, please comment below and give me some advice because I don't know whether I'm killing this palm um, or what to do with it really. I am going to put it up um, and yeah, if anyone's got any advice, please let me know. definitely tell the difference in the colour of these leaves, well, the colour of these fronds, compared to everything else. Um, I don't want to lose the palm, so if you've got any, well, I've said it already, but if you've got any um, information or any tips on how to bring this palm back, please comment. And um, yeah, so that is today's video. I'm going to start a new thing. So if you have got this far in the video, please comment a palm tree in the comments. So I know you've got to the, um, to the end of the video. And um, I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye guys.